Good morning, Stephanie Kammerman, the Stock Whisperer here. Today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper is for Friday, November 6th, 2020. All right, we got a new level on the spot yesterday, 6.6 million, 343.63. So yeah, so where are we on the spot? We're kind of in a tight spot right here. Um, not really my favorite. We have some resistance on the five minute. So there's some small choppy trades, you know, bullish above 348 um, and bear below 347. Yeah, but just keep in mind, not as good as the last two days. If we do retrace, we'll probably bounce off this four EMA. So watch that. I put retrace to the four EMA here. That's going to be key. If we do second test, go below it, then there's a, a bigger mover down to the 8 EMA, 20 simple moving average, right? So kind of like if we go down, bounce, and then there's this trade. Or we're going to try to push up and hit this body. Um, yep, so that's really what I'm looking at. Let's go to the IWM. All right, IWM is in the middle of the body of that candle, which is a little bit more interesting, might be easier to trade. Bullish above 165, bear below 162.50. The QQQs, very similar to the SPY. Bullish above 292.50, bear below 290.50. Let's head on over to the E-minis. All right, E-minis, we're gonna be bullish above 34.95. You can see there's some upward resistance right here on a five minute chart. Yeah, we really have to break above that. 3,500 level is pretty crucial as well. Uh, bear below 34.50. Let's head on over to the NASDAQ futures. Uh, we kind of have a little bit of a gravestone doji yesterday, right? Um, yep, so let's see what today's candle brings but that is a bearish topping pattern. Um, we're gonna be bullish above 12,030. And you can also see on the five minute chart, there's a lot of resistance right here. Uh, bear below 11,850. Let's head on over to the oil futures. All right, so it looks like oil had a rough morning. Trying to bounce off this Camarilla right here. So bullish above 38.12 and bear below 37.40. We've tested that area once already. We'll see if it goes down again. And let's head on over to gold futures. Gold futures are uh, pretty strong this morning. Yeah, let's see how this candle closes for us. Let's just go to the weekly for a sec. I mean, right now, this is like, yeah, a beautiful breakout candle. Yeah, but it could turn into an up thrust. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's it's Friday. We'll see how it how it closes. If it were to close strong like this, yeah, that's that would be awesome. Um, but we'll see how it closes. All right. So today we're going to be bullish above 1958, bear below 1932.50. Guess what? I got some Bitcoin futures. Yeah, why not? Just trade it. It trades perfectly, just like anything else. If you are trading Bitcoin itself, you want, I'm not telling you to trade the futures, but you want to watch the futures. They trade really well on these pivots. We were watching them yesterday. So bullish above 16,000 on the futures, bear below 15, 4, 25. We keep holding this Camarilla. And I was looking at the volume. Yeah, you wanna watch the 430. We had a very heavy volume coming in to these futures. And they seem to be ping-ponging off the Camarillas. They really like those. So we've been holding quite a few times here. Yep, we'll see. So that's why if we go below that, I would be bearish and bullish above this 16,000 level. All right, let's go to the individual stocks. I got lots of them today. Lots of volume this morning. All right, LI, bullish above 27 for LI Auto. Uh, bear below 26, kind of stuck in between there. Let's go to Tilray. These were hot yesterday. Great whispers on the cannabis stocks. Today, bullish above nine. 
And you can see we came right to this 161 EMA. That's really for commodities, but I guess, right? Cannabis is a is a commodity these days, right? <laughs> also came up to that major level, just shy of it, that nine level. So we'll be bullish above nine and bearish below 850. Let's head on over to AMD. Bullish above 84. <coughs> Excuse me. And bearish below 82. All right. Neo's got some volume this morning. We're going to be bullish above 40.06. We've already gone up there. Yeah, we've retraced uh, back down to the 4 EMA. This has really been the popular pattern, right? Every time. It goes down and then goes up, goes, you know, retraces. It's on the four exponential moving average train, the express train. Um, bullish above 4006, bear below 39. If it does turn around, let's head on over to silver. Busting a move. Yes, above that 50 simple moving average. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of us are, uh, have been in this swing for a while now. It's finally starting to move. Um, yeah, bullish above 24. That is key level today and bear below 23.40 for a retracement trade. JKS. Solar is hot as well. Bullish above 72 um, and bear below 70 for JKS. Square had earnings. Looks like they like it. Bullish above 184 today and uh, bear below 182. Roku also had earnings and they're loving them. Bullish above 235, gap and go trade, bear below 230. CGC, trying to break out here. See this trend line right here? Yep, we've up thrusted it a couple times. If it closes above that, uber bullish for CGC. It already on the weekly chart. And this has been in my uh, dark pull insights, by the way. Yep, for the swing trades. Um, yeah, look how, yeah, look at that beautiful breakout too. Um, on the uh, weekly chart, nice rounded bottom like that. And look at the volume. And we've had dark pull, so nice setup. All right, let's see. Day trade setup though. Um, bullish above 21.76 and bear below 20.80. We'll see how that goes today. Carnival just had some news. Um, we're not going to pay attention to the news. It has volume this morning. We're going to be bear bullish above 1412, bear below 1360, coming down to that right now. All right, let's head on over to plug. All right, plugs got some really nice volume. That 1850 level is key. Bullish above that, bear below 1799 for a retracement trade back to the four EMA possibly. Peloton, yep, not liking its earnings. Again, I'm not here to analyze them, just trade it. Bullish above 122, bear below 118. Virgin Galactic also had earnings, bullish above 20 and bear below 1954 a retracement trade and gold bullish above 184 for gld and bear below 182 there you have it you guys those are your whispers i know a lot of them how do you choose which ones you want to trade well you got to pick the stocks that fit your personality type conservative moderate risky yeah level well we call them level one two and three so you know level one is silver um plug i would say is like a level one ccl is a level one yeah more advanced stocks like roku would be level three jks would be level three neo i'd say is a level two amd is mm, level two Oh, Tilray is a level one. Yep. So pick pick stocks that fit your criteria. You know, we have a really awesome system in the Java Pit Trading Room. Everybody calls out when the stocks are going above or below the whisper level so we don't miss the trades. And I love it. So keep it going. Until next time, happy trading. Nothing that's my secret.
my secret